Apple's Grand Slam plan against Samsung and the Galaxy S25 series for 2025 may have been leaked. Get ready for the biggest iPhone evolution since the iPhone X back in 2018. This is going to be a huge surprise. The iPhone 16 lineup this year is just a stepping stone for what's to come in 2025 as we have the crazy iPhone 17 plans on our hands. According to the latest reports, Apple is planning to introduce their their most expensive iPhone ever made, a redesigned slimmest iPhone with titanium and it's the first iPhone to have a variable aperture main camera sensor. Introducing the iPhone 17 Slim, it's said to be even more expensive than the iPhone 17 Pro Max. According to Mixico, the display will be about 6.6 .6 inches and it could be the replacement for the iPhone 17 Plus. This seems like a similar move back in 2018 when Apple introduced one of the iPhones which was the iPhone 10, with a very different design and some new technologies that we have never seen before on an iPhone and having a variable aperture camera on a flagship most expensive iPhone is definitely very very intriguing. This is something that Samsung has already done a few years ago and it didn't really serve a major purpose but since this is Apple we might see something groundbreaking. Now, Along with the iPhone 17 Slim we'll see the normal and the pro models. Finally we'll have 120Hz refresh rate across all the models with possible reduction to the dynamic island with Apple's highest megapixel front camera ever coming at 24 megapixel resolution. Looks like Samsung is about to face perhaps the most diverse lineup of iPhones in 2025. Also in the news, if things go as they are planned, Samsung will be very happy because the relationship between Samsung and Apple is about to get even more deeper than before. We'll talk about it right after this. Why didn't I get this earlier? The ultimate wireless charger is here that can charge three devices at the same time. This is ESR's Qi 2 3-in-1 charger, which is easily one of the most innovative wireless charging solutions on the market. It delivers fast 15 watt wireless charge to your iPhone, a wireless watch charger that's completely detachable for that maximum flexibility. And on the base of it, it allows you to charge AirPods or any other wireless earbuds. You can attach your phone in portrait or landscape mode while also use it, for example, watching media like Netflix or YouTube videos. Now, I've also been using ESR's MagSafe car charger, which is very strong with the hold, and it delivers cool 15 watt fast wireless charging while I'm driving. Best of all, ESR is currently offering massive discounts on their website for all their products, so definitely check the link in the description. Alrighty, as we know, Samsung is responsible for making many parts of the iPhone's design, mainly the display and some memory components, but now Samsung could be responsible for making another most important feature on an iPhone. According to Ming-Chi Go, Apple may be breaking up with Sony in 2026 in order to adopt a Samsung-made 1x2.6 inch 48 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor. This forecast is for the year 2026, which means we're talking about the iPhone 18 lineup with Samsung-made camera sensors. Of course, these sensors will be custom made for Apple, which is why Samsung has already established a dedicated team that is working on these camera components for the the future iPhones and let's not forget the folding iPhone which is also expected to happen in 2026 that will also very likely use a Samsung made foldable panel. As the competition grows so is their deeper relationship. Seems like Samsung will be making a lot of money. Two of the biggest iPhone components the display which Samsung already makes and now the camera edition will be a huge huge revenue boost for this company. So that's all of this news. Seems like some major dynamic shift is about to happen between Samsung and Apple. What are your thoughts about the mystery iPhone 17 Slim as well as Apple's possible adoption of a mechanical aperture camera? Let me know your thoughts. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.